Hey guys, um, just kind of sitting here in Dallas and uh, kind of waiting for the storm to hit. Um, I know many of y'all got hit pretty hard by it, or getting hit pretty hard by it. Uh, try not to watch the news too much. Actually, I cancel my television subscription, but so I just kind of look at the internet or my phone or whatever. So I can be a little bit more choosy. Just don't want no more pollution and junk. Not just the news, guys, but it's the stuff that's on there, too. So I'm not, like, into all that. But anyhow, I um, kind of want to share some scriptures with you, some things. Uh, there is a storm coming to America in the spiritual realm. These things we're seeing now are just a prelude. Why well, says so it is natural, so it is spiritual. So you're drinking a cup of coffee, waiting for this weather bottom to kind of drop out, eating some cheese, share it with you, but the coffee will be cold and the cheese will be spoiled by the time you get it. But anyhow, so um, just kind of want to share some stuff with you today. And uh, one of the scriptures I'll throw out there, not throw out there, but 2 Peter 1, 20 and 21. There's no private interpretation, no secret revelation, guys. We're one body, but there's one head. His name is Jesus. So, I've got to quit. I heard this lady one time, she said, you know, I'm, I'm not really balancing all that map. You just got to kind of put it all together. Um, she was talking about the news and how, you know, us older people remember Walter Cronkite. And how it's kind of dry and just kind of just real plain Jane type stuff, you know. And then we got to kind of decide. That was her comment. Now she said it's just a bunch of talking heads. So that's kind of where the world is, of course. But, you know, all this other, I mean, just look, it's pretty messy, guys. Uh, but the church is like that too. Everybody wants to be the head. Nobody wants to be the body. You can't be the head anyhow, guys. There isn't but one head. That's why it says, Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. Thought it not robbery to be equal to God, but took on the form of a servant, even unto death. Guys, you know, everybody wants to be an apostle and a prophet and an evangelist and a prophetic guy and a teacher and a, or whatever. When I look at the job description, do you really want the job? Take up your cross and follow me. When you get into those kind of areas and positions and you do get some of the stuff that's deep in the spirit, you got a responsibility, guys, that's way heavier than you, than do you really want it? Anyhow, that's a whole other message. But, um, so, the storm's coming. And it's not a private interpretation, but for whatever reason, the Lord told me to wait till December 1st. He's still adding. I just had a dream again last night. I had a dream about the storm a while back, maybe five, six months ago. And it just kept getting added to. And it's just got added to again last night. I will share this part of it. And I'm kind of doing it maybe to get a little bit of anticipation going, of course. Um, but there's a, some reason why it's December first. I don't know. I'm just I'm just obedient, being obedient to God. Not a secret revelation, guys, because we all get them different ways. Different, you know. Mine happen to be in visions and dreams and books right now. I don't know what yours are. Some of y'all may have the same ones, but anyhow, in this dream last night, there is a storm coming to America, guys. These are just a prelude. Uh, you know, I'm, I was born and raised in Minnesota. 60 below, I see it's... That's cold, guys. You know how true it is? I was on the internet this morning, 100 below in North Dakota. That's cold, guys. And I'm down here in Dallas and been down here for 38 years and 26 degrees sounds pretty cold to me. Man. Imagine some people are even going to perish over this. 
you know, that can't pay their heat bills or whatever, or maybe some old people or homeless people, you know, Dallas opened up its area. But anyhow, the storm's coming, guys. And that song, You Better Run, well, you know what? You better run to Jesus. Kind of like the prodigal son, he ran to his son. God's like, come on. Jesus is like, come to me, all you that labor and are heavy laden. Joel, we're going to be mighty warriors running up the walls. You know, it's time to run, guys. Not from, but to the battle. What's he telling you to do? Guys, here's, I'm going to throw this one out there. Mine happens to be in books, okay? I just got two of them out, and I've got a bunch more that I'm writing right now. And it's a little daunting. I could use some help, partnerships, whatever, but I also got a blog. But anyhow, th this is a plug for Amazon, I guess. Amazon KDP, Kindle Direct Publishing. I had somebody help me, but they made it seem simple, but, and it probably is too, and I, I've been able to do some of it since. But <clears throat> just had to get it in a certain font, which I use Georgia 11. Got it to them. They help you create the cover template and everything. They don't charge a dime, guys. Nothing. I've read to revise it four times. It was messy the first one. The Lord said, just get it to them. And it was a little bit easier to revise. They just charge me for the books. They help you put it on Amazon, price it, and on Kindle. Guys, it's a great tool. So, you know, maybe that's your your avenue. I don't know. That's one that he's given me. And I'm going to use it. I'm gonna be the If I'm going to be the hand, I'm going to be the best hand there is. My wife gets on me about moving my hand, sorry. So maybe I am the hand. I don't know. I'm really I'm I'm just a directional vessel right now, guys, and I'm just telling you, there's a storm coming. And it's a a purifying storm. It's gonna be a, a choose time. I'll throw this out there today. This was last night in prayer, early this morning, actually, about one in the morning. Choose. Instruction or destruction? What was the other one? I'll think of it in a minute, but one was instruction or destruction. I wrote it down, but direction or correction. Man, it's coming down to the rubber beats the road, guys. The gospel's pretty simple. Corinthians 1.18 Preaching the cross is foolishness to those that are perishing, but it's the power of God to those that are saved. You know, but of course there's some really deep things and some deep revelatory things, but it's not for you to just gloat and pack up and, you know, oh, I prophesied something a hundred years ago. Well, I got one out there too that's been out there since 2016, guys, about a dream that I had about Jesus being at the center. It's just now coming out. Mike Pence said something about it today. And there's more to it than that. I, I can tell you the whole story to that. But look it up. Jesus at the center, vision after the 2016 election. It's on YouTube. I'm gonna put it in the description. I'm gonna put a link if you want it. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But so, we gotta put him back at the center of this, guys. Not a, not a side. So there's a lot to this, guys, okay? But there's a storm coming, and so we just need to be prepared to be about our Father's business. What's He telling you to do? Just do it, guys. That's why it says, He that have an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit has to say unto the church. My wife and I... My wife ministered really well yesterday at the homeless shelter. And for those of you, this I'll throw this in there too, for those of you that are like, oh, I'm ministering, you know, or whatever, but go read your Bible. Read Genesis 1, 26 and 27, and then get back to me, okay? I got a blog page, a comment. Um, that was before Adam and Eve, guys. a little bit to think about. I'll read Matthew 20. All the same, guys. So, I don't know what your 
purpose is. Jesus does, but anyhow, you know, we were talking about it, and the message was really good. There was maybe 40 people there. Um, we went about the numbers, but most of them are, aren't new. They're always new. They're always new people because it's a transient homeless shelter. They just they let 400 people in, and then they close the doors, and that's it. So it's always new, pretty much every Sunday. But the message was real good, and she was listening to it, and I was like, you know what? It's it's like the marriage supper of the Lamb in 22, Matthew 22. God set the table, prepared the feast, decides what's on the menu, because it's according to who's there, where our seats are. Man, God, it sounded quick just trying to be something we're not supposed to be. <clears throat> so that's what I'm going to end with. Who's your source? Where are you getting this from? Rivers of living water. Your, your source should be God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. Not me, not YouTube, not the Facebook, not the Instagram, Internet, another preacher, uh, church building. You know, we're trying to create God. He's over here. He's over there. One of my most favorite scriptures is, comes out of St. Luke 17, 20, 21. I got 1983. Kind of questioning God. Show me God. Heard this preacher. That's that's the title of this last book that I wrote. Jesus, Christ in you, the hope of glory. And he would preach. And he would say, when they see me, they're going to see Jesus. When they see you, they're going to see Jesus. I'm like, man, I was kind of raised in one of these big denominational, and I'm not knocking just denominational. I'm, you know, maybe you're knocking the whole church, honestly, but I'm not really trying to knock it. I'm just saying. I'm like, man, I've not a lot talked about God, Jesus, just kind of an out there, you know, not even in sort of just weird stuff, okay? Took me a while to get here. But. <clears throat> So I said, God, no, just, that's what I'm telling you. Go, go straight to God. Took the, took the word with me. Show me. St. Luke 17, 20, and 21. Pharisees were harassing them. A bunch of religious folks. Trying to trap them, trick them up. Make a mockery of Jesus. Call them out to be a liar or whatever. Not much different than the world's doing today to us as Christians. Even the church. So, he said, they said, when are we going to see the kingdom of God? He said, no, it's not over here, or it's not over there. It's not some old revival that happened 100 years ago, or last week, or Canada, or wherever, you know. Or a building, or a ministry, or a minister, or an apostle, preacher, teacher, evangelist, prophet, whatever. For behold, the kingdom of God is within you. So what if you're just the drunk bum on the street, the doorkeeper? The... I heard this really profound saying, one day he was Saul, one day he was Paul. A little bit more to it than that, it's on one of my feeds, but one day he's killing Christians, and the next day he's a Christian. Guys, it's just, it's time to get this, this battle won in your secret place. Go straight to the source. What Jesus was all about so that you could come boldly before the throne of grace and glory because we couldn't get there. Guys, <clears throat> read that book called the Bible. Great book. Many of y'all do, so I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I know I'm preaching, not, I'm preaching to the choir to a lot of y'all, I get it, so I'm not like, don't take it personal and wrong, pass it on. What fits for you, you know, take it. I, you know, I still got some peeling away to do, I got some issues, I got some things that God's working on, some of it's a little raw, some of the things the Lord showed me, man, God, I could have lived my whole Christian life without seeing that. Pick somebody else. I don't know. I just have to be obedient, guys, and so do you. I'm going to do it the same way as you. 
There isn't a bunch of different ways. There isn't some program or secret sauce. I know the recipe to KFC and you don't. We all do. We all can get it from the same source, guys. It is time for people in the ministry, because we're the biggest culprits of this, to get over ourselves. And that's what's on this cup, too. It said, time for people in the ministry to get over themselves. And he took me to Second Chronicles 7.14, which I love that scripture anyhow, and I already knew it, and, you know, so... Imagine that. If we humble ourselves and pray, seek his face, turn from our wicked ways. I got all this stuff going on, guys. Kind of hard to run, like I was saying earlier, about time to run to Jesus. Kind of hard to run when you're carrying a bunch of baggage, whether it's old past, worldly stuff, uh, hurts, shame, guilt, whatever stuff the enemies put on you, the church has put on you. Are you put on yourself? Man, it's time to let go and watch it grow. Get it right with him. So anyhow, I saw this other thing that was really cool. I'm going to end with this. The, net, the devil knows our name, but he calls us by our sin. Jesus, God and Jesus and the Holy Ghost know our sin, but they call us by our name. <clears throat> Kind of personal, guys. <clears throat> we all have to do the same thing, though, guys. We all have to be the body. Can't. <clears throat> none of us are the head. <clears throat> Quit trying to be the head. Get it up here in this head knowledge, and just because we got a little bit of ability, we think we can just blow and go. <clears throat> Damn. Anyhow, the storm's coming. And I'm going to share it with you. I got a lot to share, but I also want you to share your story. So I got this blog page. Just look up Jesus and Alive in America dot com, and I'll go right to my blog page. I really need some help with that, guys, because it's kind of lame. It's through Wix. I don't know how to do all this stuff, guys. I really could use some help. So help me. Suggestions, ideas. Uh, come down here to Dallas, or if you're in Dallas, or whatever, you know, or. Or just send me your story. You can email me at Jesus is Alive in America at gmail.com. Send me your whole story. Love to hear it. I want to put it out there. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do, guys. I'm just direct, like I said, directional. It's not about me. I, I want to share. I'll, I will end with this. <clears throat> um, you not Facebook blew up on me, kind of, guys. <clears throat> almost 900 friends and another 900 to, to go through and I was praying about it like, man Lord some of these people look pretty you know pretty out there some of them are real religious looking are their ministries some of them say a bunch of stuff kind of hard to screen through it all go through it all I don't know if I want all this out there guys to some of my really good friends even you know <clears throat> I don't want to pollute, be the polluter out there, polluting the truth. So I got, I'm, God prayed about it. Jesus, what do I do? He said, everybody needs to hear the gospel of the cross. I'm like, okay, this is a friend of mine. Okay, and then I kind of go through it. So I could really use some help going through all that stuff too, guys, or comments or whatever, you know, so. Anyhow, um, and I'm going to end with this, too. I keep saying that. I don't know why, but I haven't. But part of this storm coming, guys, it's already here. Internet's full of it. We bark about gun control and, oh, they're going to take my AR-15 away or whatever. You know, i got a couple of myself, but I don't have an AR-15, but of course not. I don't want my guns taken. Of course not. Then we barked about this tax status that one of the candidates brought up. It was about the money, guys. Most people were complaining because it was going to take their money. Just go pay your taxes, maybe. Maybe that's the solution. I don't know. Pray about it. Oh, imagine that. The real truth of that was, why weren't we barking about the sin that was behind it? And the reason why it was even brought out. 
which I did, and I got censored for it, guys. I put out three scriptures. This is what I put. This would be a good scripture to look at. This would be a good scripture for this issue. You can read between the lines. I'm not going to really bark about this issue yet. I'm not even going to bark about it, honestly. Because there's no greater sin, no bigger, littler, and all that. But <clears throat> I'm just directional. It was just time to take a stand. Part of the storm coming censored. So this is what I did. I put out three scriptures. Here they are. Isaiah 27. Read it for yourself. 2 Timothy 4, 1 through 4. And then the one that I was censored for was Romans 8. I mean Romans 1. I'm sorry. Romans 1. All of it. And I put it out there, hit enter, nanoseconds, guys. It was almost like there was a program in place that picked that out of the air, off the computer, off the internet. It didn't even go out. I got a response that it was pulled, censored, blocked, stopped, because of some hokey stuff about theft and all kinds of nonsense goofy stuff guys if if you want maybe i'll share it with you just email me but maybe not but it's already out there guys the bible's being censored there's a lady in a in finland that I don't have her name in front of me but I me mean, i do i'm gonna spell it p-a-i-v-i-r-a-s-n-e and S, preacher's wife, being prosecuted for saying some of the same scriptures right now as we speak. We're getting censored, guys. The Bible's getting taken out. There's a storm coming. It's already here. There's one right outside my window right now, coming. One up north, coming. It's a prelude to what's coming. So, anyhow, we love you guys. Uh, I keep trying to make these short, but it never happens. So, love you guys. Uh, you can just Google Jesus is Alive in America. Um, I do want to hear your story. I want to blog with you. Um, I want to share it. I'm working pretty diligently and all that stuff. It's just a little overwhelming to me right now because it's so much. And it just takes up a lot of time. And then just I'm just not... Not the computer guy, I'm not technical, so God could use prayer, help, whether it's time, finances, whatever. I you know, I'm not asking for that. Could use it, of course, absolutely, and I'm just gonna put it right back into the kingdom. Nothing to do with me. I'm not looking to buy a ten million dollar house. <clears throat> so anyhow, love you guys. Uh Talk to you soon. Just please, you know, you can, what you can do is share this with others on Instagram, Facebook, uh, on YouTube, to share. Get it out there. Help us get it out there. Or give me your story, and I'll get your story out there, too. I, I don't care. I'm not, it's not about me anyhow, guys. It's about the body, so I am going to run it by the head, of course. Prayer. Jesus, what do I do? God, what do I do? Holy Ghost, what do I do? Get direction. The Word. But it's time that we arise and shine. Isaiah 60. And get our story out there, guys, because there's a storm coming. And it's, it, I put out Jesus, call this Jesus is alive in America for a statement, guys. But he's alive in the whole world. But it was kind of like, you know, that's what he told me to do. So I was like, okay, God, that's what I'll do. So it just, it, it, it's kind of a bold statement. I get it. But it's time to take a bold stance and be his body and let him be the head. Love you guys. Talk to you soon.